Hello guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a horizontal scrolling effect uh, but also we will be implementing with this a snapping feature so let me show you what I mean, so if I scroll down on this page we'll reach a pinned element which is this one and this will scroll horizontally and it's also snapping automatically as you can see so there's three sections there and then after that we go down here to this final section and same when you go back up it's gonna pin here so we're currently on a, a pinned element in motion page scroll up just one click on the mouse wheel and same again here and you can see we have this snapping effect you can also use the scroll bar like this uh, the scroll wheel sorry and if you leave it it will snap to the nearest or the next section, sorry. Okay, so let me show you how I achieved this using Motion Page and Oxygen Builder. Okay, so like always, I will be using Oxygen Builder to create this, and I have already just set up a blank page called Horizontal Scroll Snap. So I'm just gonna edit this with Oxygen. Okay, so now I'm in Oxygen, all I'm gonna do is set up my sections. First we want a section which will take up the whole uh, height of the page. So let's do that section here. And I'm just gonna edit these manually on the ID. So I'm just gonna do height, viewport height 100. Give it a background color. Open up the structure pane here so I can see what's going on. We'll just call this section one. So then below that we want another section which will span across the x-axis and within that x-axis we want three sections so I'm just going to duplicate this one to three times. This is going to be section two, three and four and then we want a final one which will be at the bottom five. So what we want to do with these three sections here is put them in a container. So I'm just going to wrap these with a div. Okay, and this is going to be called horizontal scroll wrapper for the horizontal axis. So let's do H scroll for horizontal scroll and then we'll do wrapper. I'm also going to put a class on here called H scroll wrapper. And on this class, we just want to make this uh, flex by row like that. Okay. And then we also, we want to pin this element. So what I'm going to do, uh, first of all, just so I know what's happening, I'm going to change the colors of these sections. Okay. So as you can see, we do have a slight issue, which we will fix here in a second. And then let's make this one uh, purple, something like that, much lighter. All right, so this is what we've got. So for the sections, I will actually add a class and the class is just going to be H scroll section. Section. And then what I'm going to do is put this same class on each one of these. On this one as well. And now what we can do is on this class, we can control the size here. So what I'm going to do is just uh, make it 100% wide. So 100% wide and what we'll also need to do is by default when we have a flex like this, everything inside of it needs to be um, flex shrink zero. So let's do that on this class here. So we've got a layout and then flex shrink needs to be zero. And because this class is applied to all of these sections, it's going to apply to all of them. So flex shrink zero. This is set to one by default. So we'll just need to put that to zero. And then this is actually what we want, which is which is good. And finally, so what we want to happen is when we scroll down, we want the scroll bar when it hits here, we want the scroll bar to continue going down, but we, we don't want the section to move because we want the section to actually translate on the X axis going horizontal. So we don't want it to keep going down like this. So we'll need to use the pin element uh, in motion page. In order to do that, we'll need some trigger. So the easiest way to do that is to wrap this in a div again, like so. Uh, this is gonna be our pin trigger. And I'm gonna give this uh, a class as well called H scroll 
trigger like this. And then just to fix this, what we'll need to do is on this wrapper, we'll just need to give this a, uh, a width of 100%, like so. So that's still there like that. And that's basically the setup that we'll need. And now we can do the rest in motion page. So I'm gonna save this. And I'm gonna open up motion page over here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is create a new timeline and I'm gonna call this horizontal scroll snap. I'm gonna find our page that we've just created. So that is horizontal scroll snap right here. Okay, so as you can see, we have our elements. So what we need to do first is use a scroll trigger. We wanna lock this to the scroll bar. We don't want any delay on this. I wanna use a pinned element. The pinned element is going to be our trigger that we just created. So let's do H scroll trigger. We also want to make the selector here the same thing. So we want it to start when this element reaches the top. I'm actually going to put this to zero. So you can see the green lines move to the top. So once this element reaches this, it's going to start pinning and ends when I'm going to do selector again. I'm going to use the same element. So we'll target the class. We also want this top and this time I'm going to put minus 300%. And the reason I'm doing this minus 300% will just make it slower when uh, scrolling. So as I'm scrolling down here, this is actually pinned now, as you can see. And it's pinned for quite a while. It's pinned for minus 300%. So the red line is actually up way up here, minus 300%. So the further away this is, if this is a, like a minus a thousand, this is going to be pinned for a very long time. And you can see that the scroll bar became really small. So this just essentially means when this is scrolling horizontally, it's going to scroll more slowly. When this is usually like a minus a hundred, it it scrolls really fast compared to scrolling down. So when you scroll down like this, it's normal, but then scrolling across horizontally, it actually goes really, really quickly. So I found that a good number for this use case is minus 300%. So that's the setup here for the scroll trigger. Now what we want to do is create our animation. First, we'll need to target our wrapper. Well, let's do that by typing H scroll wrapper like this. Over over that, you can see it's highlighting the whole thing here. And all we need to do for this is on the two, we want to translate it on the X axis by minus 200%. So as you can see, as I scroll down, I'll use the scroll bar here. That's pinned. That's 100%. And that is minus 200%. And the pin is finished. And there it goes. Okay, so one more thing I'm going to do is to make it more linear, I'm just going to select this um, and, and use none here. So save timeline, let's have a look at this on the front. So I will just say guys, my scroll wheel is actually a little bit broken, so it might be a little bit jumpy. Sometimes when I scroll down, it actually goes up. That's not motion page, that's just a, a broken mouse. So I'm scrolling down here, scrolling down, scrolling down. All right, so that's the horizontal scroll. And we did have a, one user in our tickets uh, asking how he can use a snapping effect for the horizontal scroll. So I'm gonna show you how we can do that now as well. So all we need to do for that is just go up here, go back to the trigger event, and we wanna write some custom code in here. So in here, we need to write snap. This is GSAP code built in. Snap uh, one. We'll do a forward slash like this, and then we'll do gsap.utils to array. And here we want to target our section. We want to snap the sections. So I'm going to type here dot h scroll section like this. And then we want to snap it per length of the section. So length we want to do minus one like this. And now what this is going to do, when I scroll down, this is only going to work for the sections with the class. So remember in Oxygen, we only gave these three here the class, as you can see, H scroll section. So when I scroll down, we've hit the pin. 
and automatically that's just snapped to the next section. If I scroll down just one notch on the scroll wheel, it will snap like that and then we come out of the pin. So we'll save that one and we'll check that on the front as well. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down, scroll down and there's a snap and there's another snap and that's it and it should also work yeah so I'm just I'm gonna drag this up just ever so slightly let go and it snaps automatic so there you have it guys um, after that you could just obviously decorate these sections make them look better but this is just a very simple tutorial I'm just using basic colors for this as you can see just so you can get the basic idea of how to make a horizontal scroll and also implement um, a nice snapping feature using GSAP code. So there you have it guys, thanks for watching as always. That's just a basic tutorial on horizontal scroll and implementing GSAP code to make the snapping feature. And once again, please like and subscribe and we'll be back with another video next Monday. Thank you.